Hi everybody, it's Tiffany from Quilters Workshop and today I just wanted to do one of the videos that I do practically every year which is like a, a video about small Christmas gift ideas that you can do that are easy and hopefully most of the things that you need to make these items you might already have which makes it really inexpensive for those of you who have a really big fabric stash like I do. Um, I know it's really late because it's just a few days before Christmas, but if you're a last minute Christmas sewer or if you're a last minute Christmas shopper, you might just be able to whip these up the night before, so you never know. Um, and also a lot of people like to start their sewing for Christmas gifts in January and they kind of work a little bit out of time all year um, around doing other larger projects, so this just might give you some random sewing ideas. So to start off, um, a really nice small thing to do for a stocking stuffer gift are little fabric like a scissor guard. Um, this one fits just your this like standard pair of fabric scissors and basically what it is is <clears throat> if you unfold this edge and this edge here it just actually makes a square so if you have two squares of fabric and a piece of batting in between sew around the edges turn it inside out and then you just fold the edges on an angle like this and just drip a little bit of hot glue down there you get this nice little diagonal pocket and it just fits the blades of your scissors just like that I'm sure there's lots of tutorials on the internet for most of these things so I'm not really going to go through too much detail about exactly how to make the item it's mostly just an inspiration video so the next thing um, this is a potato bag and for those of you who don't know what a potato bag is it's basically um, a little piece of fabric it's a hundred percent cotton quilting fabric and on the inside there's a special batting called warm tater which is made by the warm and natural company I know that the warm and tater has been discontinued but you might be able to still pick it up at a few shops and if not just use a hundred percent cotton quilt batting with no scrim um, and it'll serve basically the same purpose and what you're going to do is just make up any size little pouch that you want and you can put potatoes in here or um, rolls or any other type of vegetable and when you put it in your microwave with the little opening facing upwards you can do really nice baked potatoes in about like six minutes um, which is just a really nice little gift for a student or maybe someone who lives on their own or just like a quick meal idea because normally when you make a baked potato in the microwave the skin gets all kind of like wet and withered and <laughs> when you do them in here it's as if you've actually done them properly so that's a nice little very quick gift um, the next little thing that I'm going to show is my little crochet hook roll up case and I actually do have a full video tutorial on this project so I'll just link that video below so if anyone actually wants to make this you can see the step by step instructions on how I've done it. I actually just made this using some scraps of flannel and I've sewn little pockets all the way along so that you could store your crochet hooks or maybe your um, yarn needles or your loom knitting hooks and once you've got them all in there um, there's even a little larger pocket at the end that you could put a little pair of scissors in because um, I always carry like small scissors when I'm working on knitting stuff um, just to have just in case and then you can roll the whole thing up like that and then I have like a little elastic fastener around the end that you can just put around and that's just a really nice little thing for someone to keep in their knitting bag or when they're traveling um, if you have little kids, um, doing some personalized Christmas stockings would be a really nice idea. The stocking itself is just totally plain and basic. There's not a whole lot of quilting or anything going on. And I've just used a fabric transfer of, of course, Olaf, because who isn't an epic Frozen fan? I totally love Olaf. <laughs> um, but you can put anyone on there. You could do some embroidery. Maybe instead of putting lace at the top, you could do... Um, a cuff on the Christmas stocking and either hand embroider or machine embroider um, your child's name or you could even get them to help you do it and you could do like fabric paint or fabric markers or something like that and just let them go to town and decorate um, and if you didn't want to do like a character or like a novelty picture you could definitely print out a picture of them that would be super fun all little kids I'm sure would love to have their face on their own little stocking um, now this little guy has been quite popular at my craft shows. This is just a little fabric elephant and um, for the inside part of his ears I've used just little scraps of minky and I absolutely love how this feels. Everybody loves how minky feels. If you haven't touched minky before, go to a store and touch some. You will leave buying some. 
just saying. <laughs> um, and on the inside of this guy when I was stuffing him, I actually inserted like a little baby rattle so when you shake it, you can hear it jingle. Um, you can get all kinds of different little um, inserts that are used for doll making or toy making on Etsy. Um, so that's kind of fun. And these are just really cute to use up little scraps of cotton. You could use flannel. You could use like a specific print that would match what the baby or the kid likes or what their room theme is like. Um, yeah, I just think those are so cute for like a little Christmas stocking and it doesn't even really have to be a Christmas gift. This would be really cute to put in like a little newborn baby basket if you're doing like a little gift basket up for a baby shower or a little birthday present or anything like that. Um, and then I just wanted to show a really cute little baby blanket here. I don't think I'll be able to get it all in, but basically I've gone ahead and just used some scraps of flannel and some scraps of minky that I cut into squares, and I just made a really nice little um, crib size blanket, or this would actually make a really good like stroller size for like a car seat blanket. So you don't want them too big or else they'll like drape on the floor and stuff. Um, and I just think this is really cute because as a little girl grows up, um, she could definitely start using this as like a little dolly blanket and use it for her own little dollies and teddy bears and whatnot. And then last year, or maybe it was two Christmases ago, I did a little video on what to get a quilter for Christmas um, because I know lots of quilting guilds have like little secret Santas or maybe you just are really good friends with a whole bunch of quilters and you're not a quilter yourself. <laughs> Um, so I just wanted to show and show one little idea that I had that I thought would make a really cute gift and that is a quilt calendar. Um, most quilt calendars are just like, um, there's a picture for each month obviously and that's that but this one I like a little bit better than those because for each of the quilts that are featured there's actually instructions on how to make each of those quilts which is just really nice because it's kind of like getting a little pattern book along with the calendar at the same time and I think quilting calendars are really really great to hang in studios and stuff because it just gives you a little bit of an inspiration every single month or when you look at it um so yeah I really like those that that would make a really unique gift um, if anyone has any questions about any of the items that I showed, you could send me an email at quilters.workshop at gmail.com. And if you want to follow me on Pinterest or Instagram or Facebook, I'll have all my other social media links below as well. Hope you have a Merry Christmas and thanks so much for watching. Bye!